a long, long time since that trailer's been hooked up behind the truck. Hey y'all, this is Marie from our Oki Homestead. We're down here with Bandit at the vet's office in uh, Decad, Texas. Uh-huh. He's supposed to be, look at that hair coming off. My goodness. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Woo, we should have bought the bus. We could have brushed off while we were waiting. Left some birdies, some musting material. Leave them south anyway. Yeah. They replaced the lights. That is like swelling. That's what you call swelled up. How long has it been that way? It's twice what it was just a couple days ago. Uh, probably a week and a half, two weeks now. I had noticed it was a little bit bigger than normal. And so I got up in there and, as much as I could and tried to dig out, you know. I not see any parasites in this poop, so. Well, I had just rolled him uh, Monday or Tuesday with ivermectin and then like two months, you know, he's on a routine schedule. I wouldn't be too concerned as long as there's not a lesion somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. That's when, I, when you squeeze that and you can feel it give, it's, it's, that's just straight edema. It's, it's, it's putting edema. So. Make sure they so don't have right. a, a tumor mm -hmm. specifically. Mm -hmm. Splenous cell carcinoma mm -hmm. is very, very common on the penis. Do you have to sedate him to get him to drop to no, see that? I got or? a hold of it. I, oh, okay. I got it in my hand. And he's being very good because most horses don't tolerate this to give it. Yeah, he's a good boy. So I feel all around his penis and I don't feel anything abnormal. There's nothing foul smelling like necrotic. Oh, good. This is all normal. That's all normal. Is he standing around all? He has been, yeah. He's not as active as he was. I actually seen him run the other day, and I was like, oh, look at him go. I haven't seen that in a while. I've seen Piggy Seals up maybe a month or so ago. The inactivity can do that. Because we've just been letting him loose, but we still stop him up at night just so we don't have to worry about him. Good boy. Yeah. Another thing too to think about when we're coming to that is okay. uh, protein loss just from being, don't take this wrong, I don't mean it this way, but from malnutrition. In other words, not that you're not feeding him, but he's 27. Not processing. I think he's on, so, he's on cool speed. It's like 14% uh, protein and 8% fat. Okay. I love it. So just make sure you're supplementing as much as you can. Because if that's because of his intake and, and that's possible, he's in good condition. Don't get me wrong. He's, yeah. He looks fine. But that's a possibility. He may have just some mild digestion. You know, in the next couple of weeks, you know, maybe get on some type of program because he, he needs it. He stays in the barn too. A lot. I know. He's been, he's been spending a lot of time in the barn. He's got some a little, ster a little steroid would be nice uh, for lots of reasons. Um, and a little bit of Lasix, a diuretic, will help as well. And then tighten my head up. Mm. Treat him pop, you do a horse that's stopped up. So yeah. a little bit of steroid, a little bit of Lasix, and uh, maybe even a shot of what you said powder wise, we could give the shot of, and it'd be any not there. Right, right. So, we could give him a dose of something right now. Okay. And um, treat him symptomatically and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> With your dirty face and all. We're home. Getting everybody settled in for the evening now and getting things, stalls cleaned up and getting him ready to be put up for the night. We just have to watch him and hope that the medicine kicks in and the swelling goes down and that everything um, clears up after that because he's otherwise healthy, no worms, uh, no other issues that were obvious for sure. He listened to his heart and lungs with the stethoscope, didn't hear anything uh, abnormal, I guess is the best way they put it, is abnormal, nothing abnormal because that's what you look for anyway. Uh, so anyway... 
that's it. I'm gonna call tonight. So y'all have a good one. Uh, just say extra prayer for Bandit because he's an old man. He's 27, and that's getting up there in years for horses. So, night, y'all.